right, it is time for some graphing today. I ask you to grab your crayons because we need them. Your green math book. And we're going to page 57, a five and a seven. So I'll bring it close. 57, it has a whole bunch of rectangles on it and some questions that I'll tell you about when we get there. We're gonna make a graph with some information or data from the teachers here at school. I didn't get to talk to all of them, but I did collect some data and I'll get working with you in just a second. So grab your green math book, pencil, crayons, really big brain, and let's get ready to graph some info, some data. All right, whoa, so that's kind of big, sorry. Let me fix that. Okay, first thing, write your name. Remember, one capital letter if you are just writing your first name. Since I'm writing Mrs. Jones, I get two capital letters. Um, so what did I ask that I, my friends? I said, which fruit do you like best? So here's what I want you to do. With one of your favorite color crayons or any color crayon, color the question that we did. There were a lot of questions, but I picked the fruit question. It says, which snack, playground, school, animal, but I went with fruit. So color the fruit question. That's where we I collected data to graph with you today. And I asked the primary, the teachers in my hallway, what, which fruit do they like best? I gave them three choices. So come down here at the bottom of your paper and here's where we're gonna put our three choices. Here's what I said. Do you like apples? So we're gonna write apples there. A, P, P, L, E, S. I'll even draw you a little picture so you know, we decided to ask do the teachers like my other one that I asked that they liked, I said, do you like oranges best? So oranges is like, just like the color. O-R-A-N-G-E-S. And I wrote oranges and I'll draw a little picture. This is the outside of the orange that has um, like texture on it. So apples, oranges. And the last one I asked if they liked, um, they liked was strawberries. So strawberries is a long word. I'll try to write it small so it fits stuff. Er, ah, wa, ba, eh, er, er, and strawberries. I, e, s. I'm gonna draw my little strawberry and I'll draw the little seeds. So I asked in the hallway, do you like strawberries, apples, or oranges best? And here's what I found out. I asked, 10 teachers. So I'm going to remember 10. I'll put that up there. 10 in total. Are you ready? So four apples. Three teachers said I love apples. Let's give them, and I know it says students, but I had to change it up because we're not together. I had to give you some info. So put three in there. One, three tallies. Two, three. And you could label it in the corner. Three if you'd like. That always helps me with those labels. Oranges also had, well, almost real close to three. It had four votes. Let's label it four. One, two, three, four. And put that four there. Now, strawberries ended up having the same as apples. Yeah, that's three. So wait, three and label one, two, three tallies. Three teachers like apples, four teachers like oranges, and three of them like strawberries. Now we're going to do some work about that. So let's turn the page, turn the page, and let's answer our questions. It said, how many students liked blank the best? Now pretend students, oh, sorry. Let's try that again, wrong way, eek. Okay, there's where I was at, number one. Students is actually teachers. So how many teachers liked something the best? Look at our graph and I'll show it to you. Who had the most votes? Yeah. Oranges had four. So we're gonna write four. So how many students liked oranges the best? Are you ready? So we're gonna write, whoa, flying pencil, oranges. O-R-A-N-G-E-S. And we're gonna write four, okay. Which category, so which fruit received the fewest votes? Okay, flip back. Who had the smallest number of votes? There's two answers. Yep, apples and strawberries. We gotta write both of that. That's kind of hard. 
Let's put apples up here and we'll write strawberries on the next line. Apples, A, P, P, L, E, S, apples. And then down here, let's make a line for strawberries. Stuff, er, a, wa, b, e, er, r, r, Aries, I, E, S, apples and strawberries. Oh, now we have to get to make our own question. Here's where I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Sorry if it was blurry for you. How many more students like blank than blank? So let's take the big number. Big number is oranges, which I just pointed to up there. So let's write oranges. O R A N G E S. Oranges, and let's try apples. Oranges than apples. A P P L E S. Oranges is four. Apples is three. Four minus three equals what? Yep, four fingers. Take away three. One. What is the total number of students who like blank or blank best? Oh, you want to do that? Oh, you want to add? Okay, so oranges and apples again, but this time we're going to add them, not subtract. So just copy off oranges again. O R A N G E S. And take apples again. A P P L E S. Oranges and apples are how many? Yeah, four plus three, five, six, seven. Right, seven. How many students answered the question? Oh, we do know, I actually told you at the start, but here's what it is. Four for oranges, three for apples, and three, four, strawberries. Four plus three is seven, and then I'm gonna count on. Count on, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Don't forget, after you wrote your ten, you do have math to do, but this time it says ask the people. So it says um, use tallies and numbers to organize how many pets you have, how many toothbrushes you have. That's fun because you get to travel around your house to do some data collection. Can't wait to see your work. I'll see you later. Bye.